Um, let's dig into, I guess, what I think is probably one of the most divisive topics around the energy transition, the, the, the just transition. It really came to the fore in Alberta, and, and in particular, we had uh, one of my colleagues on our climate panel, Angela Adams, uh, who came, was, she was a Suncor worker and uh, union rep, and for her, this was a very big point of emphasis. But, you know, I confess that I, I didn't quite get how you could make it work even at that point. And, and so I think I was honest about that and, and said, you know, we didn't reference it any more than I had to in, in the report that we wrote for that reason, because I, I wasn't sure it could work. Um, now, it's been co-opted, I think, uh, recently in part just due to those regional tensions that it's substituted the how do we clean up the mess with the let's cr plan to create the mess in the first place. And I think it has gotten sort of combined into the question of, is this the federal government creating the conditions where we need a transition and then riding to the rescue of the people who need to be transitioned? Uh, and I think that's where it really has, and I mentioned that briefing binder, you know, that in Alberta, that was, well, you see, now we just, we can pick out, here is the government saying, this is what they're planning, not for, but planning to do. And I think that's how it, it really took on, maybe around the time you were out there, it took on this, this was the big plan. This wasn't just a, a help.